Welcome to another day in the matrix, waters above crypto. It's been an incredible week in the crypto market, green across the board, and this is where the FOMO truly begins. While the waters above wolves were buying the dip at a $4 Theta, $1 Cardano, $0.52 cent XRP, we will start to see the masses jump in after these coins have gained over 100%. And this is why here on this channel I've been warning about an incoming bull trap for these cryptos, and here we are seeing it unfold, and my focus is always to do opposite of the herd. So lately in my Patreon I've been sharing whenever I'm selling some of my positions to de-risk my portfolio during this bull trap, it's been amazing to see how calm everyone in my Mastermind Community Discord has been. The wolves have been outperforming the market lately, so for those of you that have been supporting my work for the past couple months or longer, I'm sending you all love. We've been doing incredible in this market lately. We still have some time to enjoy these gains before the next rug pull, and when I say rug pull, I don't mean that we'll go back to a 30k Bitcoin or below 60 cent XRP. I just mean that the market makers will start to heavily short this market once the greed becomes too high in this market. And that's when we can expect some correction. So until Bitcoin hits 48K to 50K, which is my target, we will still have a little time to enjoy the ride and then get ready to set up our parachutes. So if you're new here, we do cryptocurrency technical analysis and combine it with gematria, numerology, and astrology to understand these markets. Feel free to subscribe, turn on the bell notification to stay updated on when new videos come out, and make sure to give this video a like and share this channel with other conscious people to help grow this community. And for those of you that want to learn how to do technical analysis and combine it with gematria, you can join my mastermind course. My email is in the description box to get in contact with me for access to the course. And with that being said, let's take the red pill. So first thing we're going to discuss today is something that I actually haven't spoken about in a couple videos, which is the DXY, the dollar index. And let's zoom in on to what's going on lately. So if you remember in a couple videos, probably two weeks ago or so, I was discussing rejections for the DXY and I had the support trend line. And once we broke below the support trend line, we actually did see a retest of the 236 FIB. And from there, we got a very strong bounce and attempt of making a higher high, which got rejected at the support trend line. This is called a rejection of what was support now showing as resistance. And what you could see now is a bearish divergence forming if I bring up my indicators. So you could see the price, or sorry, the RSI is trending downwards while the price is actually trended to the upside. And this is the start of a bearish divergence along with seeing MACD cross bearish again on the two day chart. So if tonight's or the next two day closure maintains price below that 93 level, I suspect that this will continue a downtrend. And we'll actually see a little bit of a recovery for the precious metals. Right now, the stock market across the board, the Dow and the S&P 500 are sitting at all-time highs, and the NASDAQ is pretty close to doing so as well. And this pressure on the DXY is supporting the gains in crypto that we've been getting lately. So this is nice to see because this was actually pumping a little bit while Bitcoin and the cryptos are pumping. But again, I think that the cryptos are just a little more ritual. They're a lot more volatile it's a nascent asset class so it's a lot easier to manipulate especially with all this leverage with futures options and of course the minting of infinite stable coins all of those financial instruments along with the US dollar and all the digitization of our economy being able to buy Bitcoin straight from your phone out of your pocket this is what makes this easy to manipulate and when I say manipulation I don't mean that in a negative connotation I just want us all to be on the right side of the manipulation remember the reason there is manipulation allows you to have all this volatility and all the volatility allows you to have such an incredible ROI. So if you want to have a huge return on your investment with these high risk, high reward cryptos, well, you kind of need manipulation. <laughs> so whenever, uh, you know, unsophisticated analysts are using this terminology manipulation, they're typically saying it when they're angry, they're mad because everything's going against them. But here on this channel, we're sophisticated investors and we like manipulation because we know how to get on the right side of it. The same thing comes back to talking about Shemitah and having a market crash in the year of 2022. Remember, we just need to position ourselves on the right side of that so we could buy the dip. The most millionaires and billionaires are created during recessions, not during bull markets. Think about that.
okay? So with this rejection of the DXY also coming in at the 200 exponential moving average, you could see it right there. It's a clean rejection on two multiple times. This could potentially form an M pattern where we have the M like this, and then we could see it start to drag down once it breaks below this 55 simple moving average on the two day. And then I would, I would suspect seeing 91 again for the dollar index. That would be very stock market positive and crypto positive. So let's move on. Now I want to go to the Bitcoin chart on the two day. And there's some things going on here. For one, we did uh, the previous two day closure. We saw that we had a nice close because it wasn't a bearish engulfing candle. So the actual candle body was above. And then we have opened this so far looking very good. And the next two day close would be on the 15th. So we don't need to worry about that today. What we could do is we could actually just move on to the three day chart. And let me turn off these drawings to make it look a little bit clearer for you guys. And what we could see here is that there could be a potential. Let me turn that off. Apologies for that. We could see there's a potential closure tonight above the 55 simple, this white moving average. And that'll be the first time we've actually had that since back in middle of May. And we could also see something else really nice happening where this eight simple moving average is crossing to the upside very steep. And that could potentially bring my favorite bullish cross very soon where the eight simple crosses above the 55 simple. And that would further my confidence that we've bottomed out in this 28k level and also the new support will be around 40k so keep that in mind that's really important to to remember once this cross comes in of the eight above the 55 and the three day that's looking very good so let's move to the five day because we actually do have a five day closure coming in tonight and we could see something really nice first of all bearish uh sorry bullish engulfing candle but also we can see higher highs on the five day candle and with tonight's close i mean i think this eight will slope up even steeper and we'll also get the five day the uh five day eight crossing above the 55 just like I mentioned with the three day. Also, you could see our MACD looking very nice on the five day and the RSI is trading above 50, no divergences, and that's bullish. So anything above 50 and trending to the upside without any divergences, I'm liking the way this looks. So all in all, very healthy chart so far. Let's go to the daily and see what else is going on. So one other thing we can mention right off the bat is you see this green moving average. That dark green moving average is actually the 55 simple. So, sorry, the 200 simple. Excuse me, my mind got away. The 200 simple moving average getting crossed by the 8 is very nice to see. That'll be the first time we've gotten that in quite a while as well, probably back in dump times. So when it dumped on the 19th, that was the last time we had that chart structure. So seeing a daily close tonight, obviously at this level would be great, but ultimately for continuation, you want to see new highs. So any closure above 47 K and you're pretty much going to expect moving up to that, uh, 50 K pretty fast. I mean, it's like a sneeze from here for Bitcoin. So just keep that all in mind. And since there's been three or about four rejections at this level, it's getting ready to break, and I suppose that this could actually happen over the weekend because the stock market will be closed, and we're the only game in town, especially while the DXY and Forex is closed. That's going to be something else that could help out Bitcoin. Liquidity can flood into this market over the weekend, or it could flood out of the market. It just depends. But remember, like when it's only retail and the bullish chart, -ish, everything is up and the greed is up, that's going to show you why the market does better on weekends when we're having bullish posture across the board when we had bearish price action back here all of this every weekend was terrible because we were bearish and it was only the retail who has no money and they're not able to pump up the prices so just remember that's why that happens and i could suspect we could have a really nice weekend this week potentially even hit 50k bitcoin this week uh this weekend so i'm not saying that will happen i'm saying potentially Another thing, too, is to turn off these moving averages, and we can look at our 21 exponential. On tonight's daily closure, this 21 right here, the orange moving average, will probably get about back to above 42, and then after that, we'll see the 34 exponential move up to above 40, and that would give me even more confidence that we're going to trade above 40K indefinitely, um, especially with that blue buy signal that flashed on the hash ribbons indicator. Again, it takes about 10 to 14 days to solidify a bottom, and then after that we never go lower than those prices in the low structure ever again just keep that in mind it's something that's really important that's a great indicator it's very rare when it goes off and it just recently flashed the blue buy signal so 
there's a lot of confidence coming in that if we don't dump very soon, um, and when I say very soon, I'm talking about this month. <laughs> Sometimes I remember like people are in crypto and when they you hear the term very soon and they're talking about like tomorrow. And what I'm trying to say here is that we still have until December or January for this bull run to come to all time highs, like before a blow off top. So we just need to be chill, you know, be patient. But again, this is a bull trap, most likely. I highly doubt Bitcoin will break to new all-time highs by next month. That's more than likely not happening, okay? And if Bitcoin gets rejected from these levels, it'll pull back the altcoins substantially, okay? So please remember that. There might be some isolated incidences like XDC and Cardano and etc. But you have to remember, Bitcoin will pull back that liquidity and it will make all of those other altcoins lose double to triple the amount that bitcoin did in percentage gains every single day so if you're new here and you're only interested in altcoins you probably have a lot to learn and that's through the bitcoin analysis and i'm saying that humbly because it could help you it could really help you so all in all, my downside targets would be the 21 exponential sitting around 41,600 and my upside bullish bias targets would be sitting around 49,000 to 51,000 and that could take up until the first day or second day of September, maybe even a little bit later into the September new moon. But historically during bull runs, we typically see the highs plant in around the first couple days of September and then a really mysterious pullback. No one will understand why it happened, but us here, we were calling the bull trap and we just had the more macro perspective. We weren't looking at things from like moment to moment, four hour candle by four hour candle. We have a thesis that is extended all the way out until 2022, and that's what will make us prepared. So before we move on to the XRP chart, go ahead, give this a like. I'd appreciate it. We got our last couple videos actually made it to 1000 likes. I appreciate all of you guys. By giving us likes, we're able to pump the algorithm and make sure that more people find our work because we're not just doing crypto here. We're trying to teach people about gematria, numerology, astrology, and it's also teaching people a lot of esoteric knowledge that could really wake a lot of people up. It's beautiful hearing all the emails that I see about people that are saying like, oh man, I wish you could do live streams every week because I love what we're talking about. I love the, the amount of community that we have and the people that are discussing these red pill topics. And it's definitely something I'm considering and it's definitely a nice escape from crypto because at the end of the day, it's all about consciousness. It's all about expanding and it's all about creating community and you can't just do that through this crypto thing you have to be able to do that throughout love and that's what this is all about so let's move on to the xrp chart so the one thing that we're seeing here actually if i bring up my drawings is remember that bull flag that i drew out where i took it from the candle body open on the lows to the candle body closes on the highs and then i brought it over to the bottom wick which is right there i know you can't see it but what that brought me to was this white line and then i drew out the white line live on a video and what happened was we broke out and after we got broken out to an extremely bullish price we got rejected harshly and then actually came back and back tested the line and you could see that right here sitting around 92 cents so we got a little bit below that 913 but essentially came back and back tested it and then bounced really nicely in the same daily candle and actually we're about to recover from it today so ultimately what i would like to see is a bullish engulfing candle which is about a one dollar and one cent close one dollar and two cent would be really nice we're basically right there get a bullish engulfing candle on the daily and that would actually solidify um, a really strong bounce off this level and I don't understand I mean I, there'd be nothing I could say that would say that this is done moving um, I would actually suspect we could probably see the next upside target around $1.24 as soon as this weekend um, or like next next week early next week um, it's definitely possible remember when I was talking about the new moon and full moon this affects Bitcoin predominantly. Bitcoin is the liquidity layer in the space. So when Bitcoin is moving up with a lot of liquidity and it's removing dominance from the rest of the altcoins, what you'll see happen 
is when Bitcoin starts to correct, it will actually help the altcoins and you'll see the altcoins gaining while Bitcoin is going sideways and down. It's possible sometimes depending on the day. So, of course, we're going to see each of these coins hit new highs on potentially different days. And that's why we've been using Gamatria here to be able to figure that out. When we have breakout targets and days of all-time highs or micro-cycle highs, it's typically happening on a perfect Gamatria day, a day where the numbers that come Come up from typing in the coin like for instance if you type in xrp you get that 14 and you also get 15 in the chaldean cipher and we've seen this happen time and time again on my channel where we get these price points that happen on particular days or breakouts that happen on those days when they have that date numerology and that just happened earlier this week so go back and watch my my videos this week and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about covered a lot of gamatra in those so essentially we're going to move on to our three-day chart and our five-day chart just to get some information going on here and what I'm seeing right now is incredible. Like, look at this three-day candle. This is hard to say anything bad about. You can see these exponential moving averages are all sloping to the upside. We're about to get the 20, the 13 crossing the 21. That looks very nice. Let me turn those off and turn this on. And you can see this will be a closure above the 55 simple. Nothing, nothing bearish to say about this. Let's go into the five-day. Wow, this is very nice, actually. So we're about to see the 8 crossing above the 55 on tonight's 5-day, cl tonight's close, literally, on tonight's close. And you could see, oh, man. Well, there you go, guys. We're about to have two of the most bullish crosses that you could possibly have. The MACD cross bullish on the 5-day and the uh, cross of the 8 simple and the 55 simple moving averages. On top of that, you have an RSI sitting at 58. That's incredible i mean i would not be surprised if over the weekend you see another jump up in price maybe to a dollar 23 and then um by next week we see uh or the i'll say the end of the month just to give it time until i could give you guys a new gamatria number to look out for but i would say that this 140 is still in the cards by the end of this month it's definitely still in the cards um and it's not really really that high from here it's another 40 percent or so yeah it's another 40 percent obviously because it's a dollar to a dollar 40 but anyways that's really important to keep out keep an eye on and let's see some other things let's go back to the three day and turn on the bollinger bands and see what we're getting so we could see any closure above 93 cents would probably be the level that would continuation because we have 92 cents as our top side of our Boll bollinger band so anything above 90 three cents i would be really happy to see and then i would anticipate bull trap so anyways we're seeing all signs for continuation on xrp and just one final word on cardano before we end this video so I've been sharing lately about de-risking my Cardano position because it's pumped way too high, way too fast, and it's not looking healthy anymore. Um, I believe I saw the RSI at like 86 this morning. That's just, yeah, it was 80, it was like 87, 88 at one point. So again, for anyone who's looking for more information and exclusive content, our Patreon over at patreon.com slash waters above. That's where you can see some of my targets for when I'm selling or whenever I'm planning to buy back. I'll be sharing those targets when that day comes. But this is the kind of stuff that's really not healthy. When you see a price move up straight line into the uh, golden pocket, and you could see that right here. So you see the golden pocket. We actually got a touch perfectly at the 786 for Cardano, hitting exactly $2.08 perfectly rejected this is what the bulls do what the bulls do this is they literally will exit their positions at this level because they're smarter they will make sure that they exit positions and then the bears will set their sell wall at that level at the same time it's a really sophisticated thing to pay attention to guys so again i felt really nice um really confident getting that getting out at around two dollars and two cents at the end of the day um i also had some exits around one dollar 85 again i really don't care because at the end of the day these cryptos can peel back all the way to the 236 so we could see that happen where a really bad bull trap can come down like this that's how it could look okay so you just got to be careful i'm not saying that it will go that low but that is pretty much what i've seen happen across the board i've seen even in the ethereum chart going back to the previous cycle of 2016 it came up all the way to the 888 on the bull trap and then still came back lower so 
it traps people in these longs and it traps people FOMOing in at the top. You don't want that to happen to you. So again, I'll be doing my weekly red pill episode coming up very soon. I'm planning to do it over this weekend, potentially even Monday. And when I do that episode, I'll be going over a bunch of altcoins. This is a good opportunity for people to see when I'm going over these altcoins. What are our de-risking positions? Like, where are we looking to take some profits? And again, we're not selling all of our positions. We're just trying to get maybe our initial investment back. We're trying to be sophisticated in this market. We don't want to be holding the bag if we bought in at such low levels. You know, there's people that have bought in Cardano, like myself, at 12 cents. That's my average buy-in. And they're... There was no profits taken during this bull run because we have the idea that we'll get out of the bull run later in the game. But when in reality, when you're looking at a 12 cent entry and right now you're sitting at 1500 percent to the upside, what are you doing? Just <laughs> at least get your money back. Right. So this is the kind of stuff that I like to focus on on this channel. So many people are like parasited by the HODL mindset. And I call it parasited for a reason, because there's been so I've heard thousands of stories of people who didn't sell during the 2017 bull run, who were in Bitcoin since 2012. They lost their wallet addresses. They did this, that and the other thing. It's because they weren't focused. They were they had their mind in so many places and they weren't looking at this from a technical perspective. And the funny thing is that's the same person who will turn around and say that looking at charts is a waste of time. I've heard it so many times. Trust me. I work with so many private clients. I've done so many portfolio reviews. I've talked with so many people in this crypto market and it blows my mind. The same people that will say, I don't like doing TA. I don't want to learn how to do it are typically the same people that continue to sell at the worst times, buy at the worst times, and they never take profits at the right times. So I'm just mentioning that to kind of get people ready because we're in a bull run and I don't want the people following my work to be caught up in what happened to them possibly in 2017. I want all the people following my work to be part of a wealth transfer, which is an independent thing that will happen for you. Just because we're in a bull run doesn't mean everyone's making money right now. Believe it or not, a lot of people bought these cryptos just starting in May. <laughs> and I'm not like laughing at you like... I'm just saying like that's actually how it went. Most of the retail FOMO'd in when Elon Musk was pumping Dogecoin and that was the worst time to buy. So I could feel that we've all learned our lessons now and we're here to actually take away something. We're here to be part of the end of the bull run, which is where we'll see the most dramatic price action, the most dramatic news, the most FUD and FOMO simultaneously. And here we'll just be calm because we have the numbers in the charts. We have the T to be able to determine what we'll do in this market and that's all that matters it doesn't matter what the news says or what Twitter says or what Elon says you have to do what is right for you and that is exactly why I created this channel and why I created my patreon doing all the work that I'm doing because I want to help people be a part of this wealth transfer so anyways I appreciate all of you enjoy the rest of your day in this matrix much love